hi guys welcome guys today in this video we will create a school management system ERD ER diagram for school management system so let's start guys so first of all uh, the first entity with us is the school let's just assign the attributes for the school school ID school name school type which type of school is it primary secondary which type of school is it also the fourth attribute will be like address I am using a separate table for the address for the purpose of normalization to not become the duplicate columns in that maybe there are for example we will assign the address for students for teachers so then there will become the duplication for example there may be two or three students from one home or from one street so for the purpose of normalization I'm creating a separate table for the address so guys it was the first entity with us so let's jump to the second entity the second entity will be teacher let's teacher teacher ID teacher name teacher email teacher pool number teacher password teacher image DOB deep birth uh, school ID in which school this teacher is here is the relationship between school and teacher in one school there will be many teachers and many teachers will be in one school address ID one thing I should tell you guys so that uh, making an RD that depends on your requirement which you should create the ARD for based on your requirement so there are different schools and they have different policies and methods and uh, the requirements are different for them so you should create your ID your ERD just for based on your requirement guys so here guys here is a relationship between school and teacher so I will assign the relationship to them relation just search it yeah let's come and see where is the relation yeah this guy I think it is the one to one money I think yeah it is <coughs> so it is guys the relationship has made between school and teacher let's jump to the second the third entity which is student Yeah, the third entity with us will be the student. Student ID is ID is name uh, is phone number. Student DOB date of birth. School ID. and the last attribute will be address address id so guys uh, student has relationship with school in one school there will be many students in a student should be in a school in one school so here is also one to many relationship so i just create it let's assign it oh. yeah here will be a relationship I will just draw it so you can make it beautiful uh, relationships and you can make it what how you would like I just create like this for you for the purpose to just shoot you so let's jump to the fourth entity which is address with has so let's create it address yeah 
Yeah, we have address ID, address ID, and address detail. Address detail. We should assign the detail for the address entity. So, guys, address a relationship with student, teacher, in school, and and them. You just should create the relationship between them. So you you can do that. I will skip that because for the purpose of time. So let's jump to another entity which is class with us. Yeah, let's come guys. Class. Yeah, let's what class ID with us. Class name. Uh, class year. In which year it was school ID. Yeah, class has relationship with school uh, because in one school there will be multiple classes, more than one classes, and classes will be in uh, school. Here is also a one to many relationship. I will just create it, guys. Yeah, come here, just copy it, just do it. Okay, yeah. So, uh, also the class has relationship with student. And the student and the class relationship is we can see that in one class there are multiple students more more than one students and a student should be in one class so I should assign here also one to one relationship yeah control C I will just uh, write here the class ID should add here class ID okay to the student entity and also make a relationship yeah come here guys come here come on come on okay yeah it's okay okay let's let's jump to another entity which is subject yeah subject let's guys yeah subject uh, we can say subject ID and uh, subject name and teacher ID yeah the subject has a relationship with teacher and this subject is assigned to teacher to home so the teacher and the subject has a relationship so relationship type will be like a teacher can teach uh, many subjects and a subject should be teach by one teacher we can assign here one to money or maybe in some schools money to money like uh, one subject may be teach by many teachers more than one teachers so that depends on the requirement i told you guys so i will just come here and just make the relationship yeah let's uh, and jump to uh, the another the subject has a relationship with class 2 because uh, there will be many subjects in a class and a class has many subjects and one subject maybe math math should teach in more than one classes in fourth fifth sixth in everyone so here is one to money relationship so we should create another third uh, entity or third table for this uh, which is a associative entity so let's create that from here i will create one for them yeah class subject subject id and class uh, id Yeah, the subject and the class it is an associ associative entity between class and subject let's guys uh, jump to the attendance entity yeah 
come here, obtain the bins. You can see date and which date, status, student status of the student and student ID. Yeah. Yeah, the student and the attendance they have relationship with each other and also it is why you should create the uh, relationship relation just come and assign it yeah it is done so now let's jump guys to another entity which is exam with us Entity, let's. I should do it like I will just make it here. Exam, exam ID, exam ID, and exam subject ID, and date. Which subject? And exam ID. So it was exam. Exam has the relationship with subject, guys so guys it was uh, the ERD of a general overview on the ERD of school management system so I told you guys that depends on the requirement and you should make your uh, ERD AR diagram based on your requirement so it was it, it was a helpful video for you so please guys subscribe our YouTube channel and like the video and comment down thanks guys